County, Senator Sasslaw. Madam President, uh, members of rise on a point of personal privilege. The senator has the floor. You know, they say that uh, everybody, and I mean everybody's got a, a use by or sell by date stamp somewhere on them. And for mine, for me, it's next January 10th at noon. By then, I will have been in the General Assembly 48 years, including 44 here in the Senate. And, Madam Clerk, I can't tell you how outstanding you and your staff have been and helped make this, you know, the enjoyable years that they've been. Um, I've been around the General Assembly, as you can imagine, a pretty long time, and uh, not as long as Senator Warner, who tells people that, uh, thinks that I served with Thomas Jefferson and Patrick Henry. But uh, I did, in my first few years in the House, of, in my first uh, term and second term in the House of Delegates, I did serve with a man whose father fought in the Civil War. Now, I served with a man whose father fought in the Civil War. I didn't fight in the Civil War, okay? Um, I served also... With a state with a state senator here by the name of Evelyn Haley, who was a witness, an eyewitness to the events at Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941, as a sophomore at the University of Hawaii, and her father was a Navy captain there, who later retired, and the maiden name was Mumskin, uh, later retired as a vice admiral, and there's a, currently a destroyer named after him uh, on active duty. Sooner or later, you know, you got to realize that you're going to have to move on. But it's been a very interesting and a, a great 48 years, and you all are amongst the many people who've helped make it that way. Um, you know, it's met a lot of people, a lot of interesting people, both here and from the outside world. Um, twice I've met Queen Elizabeth. And uh, along with uh, then-delegate, now Congressman Morgan Griffith, uh, we escorted her into the House of Delegates when she addressed the joint session of the General Assembly in 2007. At the 1978 inauguration of John Dalton, I had the opportunity, thanks to former delegate Wyatt Durrett, to meet and talk for five or six minutes with, you ready for this, Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> Um, the, um, I've attended the inauguration of 12 governors, and um, although the, the 13th that I served under, uh, I wasn't at his inauguration, that was the second term of Mills Godwin, uh, which gives you an idea really of how long I've been around. Uh, many of my colleagues um, have gone on to be governors and congressmen. And um, I've tried over the years to, you know, make sure I got along with people on both sides. And, you know, back from going back to the class, uh, the classes in the 1990s, uh, my seatmate of many years, Janet Howe, uh, other members of that class in the 90s, Senator Lucas, Senator Edwards, Senator Norman, Senator Newman, and Senator Hanger. Um, so in a few years, they'll know what it's like. <laughs> but um, it's, 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 I can't just tell you how great it's been. And, and I've been given a, a fabulous opportunity by the people here, you know, to serve as uh, both as minority leader and majority leader um, in the Senate, um, chaired Commerce and Labor, and several subcommittees. And I'm proud of what, you know, we've accomplished here over the last 40-some years. Um, you know, we've been we've created an environment uh, for people to succeed in. Virginia has been ranked recently as one of the top states to do business in. Um, one of the other things I'm proud of is we've improved the life of you know uh, people and groups who've been marginalized over the years, various minorities. Um, things have gotten a lot better. We've got a ways to go, but there's been a vast improvement. And I'm proud to say I've been, you know, part of that. Um, one of the things that, you know, I've done is, you know, I've tried to be very helpful in uh, women's uh, health and reproductive rights. 
uh, investing in major transportation projects, and it was my bill back in 1981 that allowed local governments to start selling bonds to repair their own roads or build their own roads if they, if they wanted to finance uh, what was not in the state plan. Um, and, you know, I, I, I can't say enough to Eleanor, who's had to put up with me for all these years here and, you know, in and out, in and out, in and out. And, and um, uh, I, I couldn't have done it without your help. I, I really couldn't have. And then my daughter, Jennifer, who I wished I could have, you know, uh, been at a lot more events for her when she, you know, as she was growing up. Um, I also want to thank, uh, say a lot of thanks uh, to my chief of staff, um, Janet Howe. Janet, you up there? There. Not Janet Howe. Janet Muldoon. There. You, you, you now, you now, Janet, stand up. You, you now understand why I need, why I'm, I'm getting out. Call, call her Madam Fairfax. Uh, had one guy go, uh, on the board at UVA when he was on the board at George Mason. Um, but anyways, and to my staffers, uh, uh, Joe Schilling and, and Megan Center, um, it, uh, you know, I want to, you know, close reminding all of you the importance of listening to each other. And one of the big changes that I've seen over the years is that we've lost the ability to compromise. And that is really unfortunate. Uh, when I first got here, th things got worked out. If you needed to make budget cuts, you made them. If you needed to raise taxes, you raised them. You know, and people got returned to office. Uh, and sometimes they were tough choices, but we made them. But um, it's, it's been such a great, great pleasure to serve with all of you and many of your predecessors. Um, I, you know, I can't thank you all enough. And again, um, Madam Clerk, you and that fabulous staff of yours that have made it so enjoyable to be here. Um, finally, the, with apologies to... Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein II and the hundreds and hundreds of people who've played over the years in the famous Broadway musical Showboat and stealing a couple of lines from one of their songs in that, fish gotta swim, birds gotta fly, and Saslaw's gotta move on. But thank you all.